Good morning. Blessed Sunday for all of us or to all of us. Welcome for our live stream coming from Paranaque Church of Christ. And I am here in Bacoor, Cavite. This is now our 32nd week in quarantine. Eight months to be exact. Still, we are thankful that God has carried us through and that God has been blessing us even in this ministry. Seems to me that God widens up my pulpit. God has provided an avenue for me to speak, to preach, and to share the message mm -hmm. with people that I have known personally and with people that I have not seen for years. I'm so thankful for the Lord for that blessing. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat mga kapatid. Nandito na naman po tayo sa ating live stream mula po ito sa Paranaque Church of Christ habang inyong lingkod po ay nandito sa Bacoor, Cavite. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa patuloy na pagtangkilik ninyo, sa patuloy na pagsama tuwing linggo sa bawat broadcast po natin, sa bawat mensahe pong ginagawa natin, sa bawat pananambahang pinagkakaloob natin sa Panginoong Diyos. Nagpapasalamat po ako na sinamahan po ninyo ako, sampo na mga kapatid ninyo dito sa Paranaque Church of Christ. Kung nagpapasalamat akong dako, usap sa itong mga egsuon, nga naa sa nagkalain-laing dapit, uh, sa tibuok kabubutan, kapupudan, o sa pag-share. Daghan ka ninyo ang nag-share sa akong mga mensahe, sa akong mga video, nga dili na ako mahinganlan ang matag-usa ka ninyo, pero mapasalamatan ka ayoko kay inyo ng ginabuhat. Kadagiti kagabsat ko nga Darita Norte, kadagiti kagabsat ko nga Ilocano or ay sa dino man nga diso, pagyamanak unay kagabsat. Pagyamanak may dagiti comments yo, pagyamanak unay dagiti pampapigsa yo itinakam ti may sa tuy no mutog tibyang kuna kuma nga itultuloy ko kuma ti agkasaba, may kasabay ti pudpudno nga ibanghelyo ni Apo tay nga Dios. Having said all of that, gusto ko munang batiin si Amor. Mag-birthday po bukas si Amor. At ngayon naman si Neneng. Oh, so, happy birthday muna sa kanila. Ang, the thing that we'll be dealing with today is life hidden with Christ in God. And the reading will be from Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 down through 4. And I have Taken this from the English Standard Version, and this is the reading. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Be mindful of things above, not on things on earth. For you died, and your life has been hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, our life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with Him in glory. That is Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 down through 4. Sa Tagalog, ganito po ang pagkakasulat sa ang bagong Biblia, 1982. Kung kayo ay muling binuhay na kasama ni Kristo, ay hanapin ninyo ang mga bagay na nasa itaas na kinaruruunan ni Kristo na nakaupo sa kanan ng Diyos. Ituon ninyo ang inyong mga pag-iisip sa mga bagay na nasa itaas hindi sa mga bagay na nasa ibabaw ng lupa, sapagkat kayo'y namatay na. At ang inyong buhay ay natatagong kasama ni Kristo sa Diyos. Kapag si Kristo na inyong buhay ay nahayag, ay mahahayag na rin kayo na kasama niya sa kaluwalhatian. Sa ibang version po, yung kayo ay tayo ang ginamit. Hindi po yung uh, second person, kundi yung first person, plural ang ginamit. Nawa ang Panginoong Diyos ang magbibasbas sa mga binasa natin. May the Lord bless the reading and let us go over for the past two months that we have been studying. Uh, I'm so glad that this is being the last Sunday of October that quarantine will be over as announced and I am really praying for that. I am really hoping that quarantine will be lifted at the end of this month. So we can gather together next week 
which will be the first Sunday and the first day of the month of November. And it happens to be All Saints Day. And it is going to be, the saints will be gathered together in their places of worship. Ang mga banal muling mga kakatipon sa kanilang mga bahay-sambahan at magsasama-samang magbibigay papuri muli sa dakilang Diyos. Wow! <laughs> Excited po ako dito sa bagay na to. Ang katotohanan niyan, uh, bumisita na po ako kahapon sa Paranaque Chapel. At uh, sinubukan na po namin uh, nila Toto at saka nila Doi. Nasubukan kong gumagana po yung mga gamit doon. Hindi lamang po natin sinubukan muna yung monitor. So, um, thinking na okay lang for the past 8 months na hindi siya ginalaw, hindi siya nagamit. So, excited ako para sa susunod na linggo. <laughs> Can hardly wait. Hindi ba mga kapatiran, uh, ganun din ang nararamdaman. Yun nga lang, may social distancing. Ewan ko kung pwedeng magawa kagad agad yung mga fellowshipping natin, pero so be it. And dapat siguro ipagpasalamat natin, first Sunday after quarantine, that should be glorious day. That should be All Saints Day. Dahil hindi All Saints Day na holiday, kundi dahil mga kakatipon tayong mga magkakapatid muli kay Kristo. Review po natin ang mga last lessons natin for this past two months. And it was really, really a journey of faith. Nakakatuwa po. Journey of faith for the sense of that. When we started talking about our living hope, ang ating buhay na pag-asa, and that our living hope, ito yung, this is what the prophets examined and researched diligently. That is from First Peter. And it was also this, that the angels long to see these things. The angels long to look into these things. The prophets research, the angels long to look. What is that all about? It was us. Merely human. Tayo mga mortal, tayo mga tao lamang. Magiging banal. Sapagkat sinasabi niyang, be holy for I am holy. Paano maging banal ang isang makasalanan tao, ang isang nilalang. And the angels long to see those things. And the prophets examine those things and then research it. And we've seen that. We were made holy because of what God has done. The truth is, God allowed us and made us stand before His throne, before His very presence, holy, blameless, Without any fault. Yan po ang katotohanan na hindi natin mapapahindihan kahit kailanman. Na tayo ay inaring ganap sa harapan niya. Tayo ay walang kasalanan, walang bahid ng anumang batik. Kaya nakakatayo tayong confident sa harapan ng Diyos. Isang bagay pa, yung assurance natin. Yung ating hope of glory, yung living hope natin, sinasabi niya, the hope of glory is this. Hindi nagkasya ang Panginoong Diyos na bigyan tayo ng deposito na ibigay sa atin ang tatak ng banal na Espiritu Santo, kundi sinabi niya, dapat na malaman ninyo ang misteryo, ang mga bagay-bagay na ito na sa napakahabang panahon, itinago na ito ay si Jesus ay sumasa inyo. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Marapat lang, na ngayong araw na to pag-usapan natin na ang ating mga buhay ay natatagong kasama ni Kristo Jesus sa Diyos. At yan ang ating buhay na pag-asa. That is our living hope. That our lives as being revealed in the mystery is that it is hidden with Christ in God. I couldn't help it but thank you for the encouraging feedback, feedbacks. And some are saying, it is a breath of fresh air, Brother Ronnie. Thank you so much. Because for the longest time, we've been hearing this and that. We've been hearing those and those. We've been hearing a lot of things. But for the longest time, somebody has given us the assurance 
that indeed we have the assurance of our salvation. We have the assurance of our standing before God that we are indeed not worthy, but we are considered holy, blameless, and without fault. And a lot of them are encouraging me to proclaim the true gospel. Oh, they've been saying, oh, not the usual. Hindi ito yung pangkaraniwan kasi na pangangaral. Pero ganito po nangyayari sa pulpito ng Paranyaki Church. This is what it is. For years, I've been preaching the true gospel. Hindi yung usual na sa pag-uusapan natin, I, I don't remember even preaching the those and don'ts. Not the self-centered or the self-reliant. What must I do to be saved? Or what must I do to be this kind of Christian? What must I do to be a better? What must, lahat lahat ng what must, what I, 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 I. Because Christianity is not self-centered. Kaya ka nga natawag na Christian. Take Christ out of Christian, my titira doon is I-A-N. I am nothing. Without Christ, I am nothing. So why talk about yourself? Why talk about about me? About self glorification? Ah, some were saying that is too good to be true. Yes, indeed. And I'm going to get back and see. It is last last week's slide when I presented that it is too good to be true that our present is standing before God is that we've been reconciled, pinagka isang muli, pinagka sundo. We've been justified in naring ganap. All of our wrong, kagaya ng ating justification. When you click the justification button, uh, no need to worry about our margin. It has been justified. And we are at peace with God. And we are holy and blameless and faultless to stand before the throne or to stand before God. And that we are assured of our salvation. <laughs> and that, that mystery has been revealed. And we have them all these times. All these years. Magugulat nga lamang tayo. Bakit ngayon lamang namin naririnig itong mga bagay-bagay na to? Bakit puro utos, 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 utos? At marami pang utos ang kailangan ito pa rin para lang maging kristyano. Kulusas. When you look at the progression of the texts, just after giving us this mystery, just after revealing the mystery in chapter 1 verse 27, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. See the progression of the texts. As promised last week, I am going to deal with it madali and lang, just in passing. He unveiled, there it is, he unveiled the mystery in verse 27. Yet, in chapter 2, verse 4, he gave us this kind of warning immediately. And so he said, after we've been given that Christ in us, Christ in you, the hope of glory, and that you are holy, blameless before him, he said, I tell you then, do not let anyone deceive you with false arguments. What? We are being deceived with false arguments? No matter how good they seem to be. Have we been deceived? Oh, yes. There are a lot of us who are very knowledgeable. Tinatawag natin sila matatalino pagdating sa Biblia. Matatalino pagdating dito sa, sa salita ng Diyos. Ang gagawin nila, ang daming deduction, syllogism, philosophy. Tapos sasabihin nila, ah, that is this. If A is B and B is C, therefore then A is equal to D. Pero hindi po susundan nating maigi. Kaya nga, ang iba naman, ang gagamitin nila sa atin ay hermeneutics daw. Kapag ka it should be a command, direct command, it should be uh, a, an apostolic example, it should be a necessary inference, na magkaminsan yung mga direct command naman, ayaw namang gawin. Yung mga necessary inferences, hindi naman necessary. Or mga apostolic examples, mamimili naman. Halimbawa na lang yan, foot washing. Ayaw naman ng foot washing. Halimbawa na lang yan, dukutin mo ang iyong mata kung yan ang magiging sanhi ng pagkakasala. Wala pa naman ako nakikita ang mga preacher at mga pastor na 
iisa o bulag, iisa ang mata, one eye. O di kaya ay putol ang mga kamay. Pero marami tayong naririnig na gano'n ang mga nangyayari. Yet, these things are. So kung titignan natin maigi, they are really Hitlers among us. Maalala nyo, four weeks ago, I said, I, I showed you Hitler. Hitler said, the best way to take control over a people and control them utterly is to take a little of their freedom. Tananggalan tayo ng kalayaan. Kalayaan na maging masaya sa pagiging Kristiyano. Kalayaan na magkaroon ng katiyakan sa ating pananampalataya. Take a little of their freedom at a time to erode rights by a thousand tiny reduction and almost imperceptible. Yung halos hindi mo mahalata. Itong leads to leads to. Sasabihin nila, ah, bawal kayong tumikim. Bawal niyong tingnan yan kasi yan ay magdadala sa inyo sa ganon. Leads to sin kung tawagin nila. Ito siya, sinasabi niya. Almost imperceptible reductions. In this way, the people will not see those rights and freedoms being removed until the past or the, until past the point at which these changes cannot be reversed. And so nakikita natin. Ang ginawa ng Hitler's Sa kalagitnaan natin, tinanggalan na talaga nila tayo ng kalayaan at tinanggalan din ng tiwala ng tunay nating katayuan sa harapan ng Diyos. So then, sabi niya sa verse 6 and verse 7, chapter 2, Just as you receive Christ, tinanggap mo ang Panginoong Jesus bilang iyong Panginoon, so wala ka dapat ibang papanginoonin. Hindi si Brad, hindi si Pastor, hindi si Father, o hindi si Bishop, o hindi si kung sino man, hindi si Manong. Ang iba kasi, Manong ang gusto, ayon ng Brad eh. O si Lolo, si Lola, uncle, ano? Ayaw lang matawag na big bro. Ang sabi niya, continue to live in Him. And it is, you can see how we are just like planted. Just like a plant. We should be rooted, that is down, built up, that is up, and then strengthened, that is spreading. Look at this imagery. If we continue to live in Christ, we can be rooted. Dapat pailalim. Palalim ng palalim pagkakaunawa natin sa Kanya. Dapat pataas din ng pataas ang relasyon natin at ang pagkakakilala natin sa Kanya. At dapat payabong ng payabong at palakas ng palakas. Strengthened in the faith as you were taught. And itong isang bagay na to. Kaya ko hinahilight. Overflowing with thankfulness. Why are so many Christians not thankful about their salvation? Why are many Christians grumpy about serving? Kasi nga, tinanggal natin yun eh. Tinanggal natin yung kanilang karapatang maging masaya kasi ang iniisip nila, sundin mo itong mga batas at itong mga malilit at ang dami-daming mga batas. Look, see then, see to it. That no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy which depends on human tradition. Ayan na naman si human tradition. C-E-N-I. Command, example, necessary inference. Ipagpipilitan ng karamihan na ito dapat ang hermeneutics natin. Ang daming command na ayaw namang sundin. Apostolic example, ang dami din. Ayaw namang sundin. Ngayon, Pagka silang nagsasalita, ito ang sasabihin na dapat na maging hermeneutics. Pero look at this. Hollow and deceptive philosophy which depends on human tradition and the basic principles of this world rather than Christ. Kung nagsendro lang sana tayo kay Kristo, built in Him, strengthened in Him, if we have just stick our heads with Christ, and see our lives being hidden with Christ, wala sana tayong ibang pinoproblema. Yun nga lang, ang daming hinahanap eh. Ah, kailangan every Sunday nandito ka. Oh, kahit na may pandemya, kailangan mga kakatipon kasi utos. Sinabi ng portatory abjunct, uh, subjunctive ang Hebrews 10.25, ipagpipilitan pa rin hanggang sa ngayon na yan ay utos. Hindi po utos yan. Nawala tuloy yung ating overflowing thankfulness because we have not centered on Christ. 
and we are centered on tradition of men and basic principles of this world. Ano pang argument to? Ito paborito natin. But look at this. This is one of our favorites. When we talk about being buried with Christ, ah, baptism, thank you, Brad Ron. Uh, sa wakas, tinakal mo rin ang baptism. Uwe, tingnan mo maigi to kapatid. For you were buried with Christ. Romans chapter 6, verses 1 hanggang 4. We were buried with Him through baptism. When you were baptized, there it is. So we were buried with Him. And with Him you were raised. You were raised. Romans chapter 6, 1 down to 4. Babalik balik ano. And with Him you were raised to a new life. That is our new hope. We are raised to a new life. Because, because of what? Because you trusted the mighty power of God who raised Christ from the dead. Question, why were you buried with Christ? Kung ang sagot mo pa rin is to be saved, then iba to. Kaya nga magkaminsan, a lot of people don't like the NIV or a lot of people don't like the, the newer versions. Kasi ang NIV sinabi niya, itong mga verses nito from Mark 16, starting from 15 down, hindi mo matatagpuan sa mga extant manuscripts or sa mga ibang manuscripts. So mawawalan ka ng Mark 16, 16, nawawalan na sila ng, ng ibang argumento. Nung ipakita nga, ang sasabihin lang, it's still there. <laughs> but it is. Look at this. Why were you buried with them? It is not to be saved. Because. Why were you buried with them? It is not because you are responding to what must I do to be saved. Kasi nasanay tayo na self-centered. Nasanay tayo that we should be doing something in response to what God has done. Or I should be doing something. Gusto mo kasing may magawa ka. But it is all what God has done. But look at this. Sabi niya, you were buried with Christ when you were baptized. And with Him, you were raised to a new life. Why was that? Because you trusted the mighty power of God. It is your faith on what God has done. It is our faith. It is our belief on what God has done. What God has done, He has made us holy, blameless, and without any fault. He has made us worthy to stand before His throne because of what Christ has done, what God has done. It is not because of what I have done or what must I do to be saved. Malino po yan sa sikat ng araw. When you were dead in your sins, look at this. Yung dati mong kalagayan, reflective ito doon sa pinag-aralan natin sa Roma. When you were dead to your sins, when you were still powerless, when you were still enemies, when you were still sinners, when you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your sinful nature, God made you alive. Jesus died for you. God made you alive with Christ and He forgave us including Paul, all our sins. God has forgiven that. So don't let anyone condemn you. <laughs> don't let anyone condemn you for what you eat or drink. Ah, laging issue yan, no? Can we eat this food? Can we eat this and that? Can we, can, can we? Or can't we? Those and those and the man. So don't let anyone condemn you for what you eat or drink, whether we eat or drink, we, we do it for the Lord, for the glory of God. Corinthians, or for not celebrating certain holidays or holy days, <laughs> or new moon, the ceremonies, or Sabbath. This is where damn if you do and damn if you don't. October 31st, damn if you do. November 1, damn if you do and damn if you don't. December 25, January 1st, my birthday. Anniversary of the church. Marriage and wedding anniversaries. And so many other things. For some people, they don't want. But here it is. Don't let anyone condemn you for that condemn you for not celebrating. What if I celebrate? So, 
Damn if you do and damn if you don't. And he says, these rules may seem wise. Yeah. Because they require strong devotion, humility, and severe bodily discipline. But they have no effect when it comes to conquering a person's evil thoughts and desires. Totoo nga naman. Nagmumukhang Tama, matuwid, nagmumukha nga namang ah, katanggap-tanggap. Pero ang sinasabi ng Apostol Pablo, wala siyang kakayahan na kontrolin ang isipan. Kasi ang pinagbabawalan mo lang yung actual, yung do not taste, do not touch, do not... Ang sabi niya, these are hollow and deceptive. It has the appearance of good, the do not handle, do not touch, or do not taste, yet it has no effect when it comes to conquering a person's evil thoughts and desires. Kasama dito yung leads to type of sin. Nandami. Ah, wag kang pupunta sa ganitong sosyalan kasi it leads to kind of sin. Oh, wag kang titikim yan kasi it leads to drunkenness. Kaya pinagbawal na lahat-lahat. Eh, paano yung grape juice kapag ka nagtagal? Wine na rin yan eh. Leads to sin. Ang dami. Kaya hindi na makapagpasalamat ang Kristiyano ngayon. Hindi na makapagpasalamat ang anak ng Diyos ngayon. Sa dinami-dami ng leads to sin. At sa dinami-dami ng mga sinasabing this. Ah, may mga napapanood akong ibang mga mga broadcast na itong it's so a lot of things. Kaya tama lang sa Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. Sasabihin niya yung if and then. If, kung, then. If you were braced with Christ, seek those things which are above, for Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. That is a big if. If you were raised with Christ, then you must have been buried with Him. You must have been raised with Him. Your sins must have been forgiven. And your sins were forgiven, and it stays that way. And you have a new life and a new relationship with Christ. You have a living hope in Christ. Christ, if you were buried, then be mindful of things above and not on things on earth. And I mean, be here, be mindful of your true standing before God. That you're holy, blameless, and without any fault. Don't let anyone deceive you with their hollow and deceptive philosophy. Don't let anyone condemn you. Don't let anyone deceive you with their false humility. Don't Let be governed by CENI, command, example, necessary inference. That, that should be the basis. And beyond that, hindi ka nakasama sa aming fellowship. Come on. Why? Because you died. And your life has been hidden with Christ in God. That's our assurance. We have died to our old self. We have been given a new life, a new birth in Christ. So we need to be thinking of how to keep that. Hindi how to keep the rules, how to keep with the rule book, with the checklists of other of the brotherhood. Our lives being hidden with Christ in God. I look at it. It is in perfect tense, passive, indicative. Perfect, done with. And remains to be that way. Alam yun? Perfect. Ginawa. So natatago. Oh, it has always been mine. If this this being Christ, if this being Christ, it, it, you could see a lot of things that, that is in my Bible. If this is Ronnie, his life is hidden with Christ. Whenever God looks down, he can see Ronnie. He sees his son. He sees Christ's. So, paano mananagot ako? So, paano mawawalan ako ng katiyakan ng aking kaligtasan? Gayong ang buhay ko, ito si Ronnie, ito si Kristo, ang buhay ni Ronnie ay natatagong kasama ni Kristo sa Diyos. Kaya pagdating ni Kristo, mahahayag ang aking buhay. That is in verse 4. At yung katayuan ko na yan, that is perfect. Nagawa na yan. At mananatili sa ganong kalagayan. Hindi yung nagkasala ka minsan, sinipa ka na kaagad-agad. Hindi ka na pwede dito. 
sa pagkakayo na matay na ang inyong buhay ay natatagong kasama ni Kristo sa Diyos. Kapag si Kristo na ating buhay ay mahayag, when Christ our life is revealed, then you also will be revealed with Him in glory. That is our living hope. And that is where we stand. We will be revealed with Him in glory when He is revealed. Anong, anong kakatakot natin? This is the assurance of our faith. Because of what God has done, because of what Christ has done, I can confidently sing. Magkaminsan, pati pa nga sa kinakanta natin, no, pinagbabawalan pa tayo. Ayaw pang ipakanta ta sa atin ang when the rule is called up yonder, I will be there. Tiyak yon. Or yung isang awitin na ang gusto nila is when we all get to heaven. No, no, no. Ang gusto nila ay when the saved gets to heaven. Then silang nag-cheer. When the saved gets to heaven, they will sing and they will shout the victory. No, I will be singing and I will be shouting the victory. When the role is called up yonder, sure, I will be there. Mga kapatid, if this broadcast means so much to you, share. Bigyan pag-asa natin ng ating mga kapatid. Give them the assurance. Revive them. Give them the full gospel. Show them that indeed we have assurance. Not only in the songs that we sing, but also in the lives that we live. Wag niyong gawing kukunti ang tao sa langit. Kundi dapat marami. Kundi dapat marami ang nakakaalam nito. Dahil He is not wanting anyone to perish. Ang tinuro lang kasi sa atin yung narrow road na kunti lang makakahanap. Nakalimutan nila yung not wanting anyone to perish. Ang gusto niya lahat-lahat ay maligtas. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever kahit sino believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Tayo lang o iba sa atin nagiging very limiting at very, very exclusivists na ayaw nating tanggapin yung iba. Again, Thank you so much for being with us in this broadcast. And thank you so much for being with us throughout. And hopefully so, I won't be doing this next Sunday here. But we will be doing this in our worship place at Paranaque Church of Christ. Again, thank you. Please continue to share. Maraming maraming salamat. Patuloy po tayong magbahagi ng mga bagay-bagay nito.